Welcome to section 6.2, Use Proportions to Solve Geometry Problems. In this video, you're going to have two objectives, to recognize similar ratios and then to use proportions to find the missing lengths in a figure. Similar to what we did yesterday, we're kind of just going to add on to it today. So first thing, example one, in the figure below, AB over AC equals BE over CD. Now in this, notice this is a proportion because I have two ratios set equal to each other. AB is a ratio to AC and BE with CD is a ratio. Now all you have to do is plug in what you know. Well AB, I actually don't know that, let's call it X over AC. Well, AC is this whole portion right here. It is not 6. Let's be aware that it's x plus 6. That's a very common mistake, so please watch out for that. Would equal, well, BE is 10 and CD is 24. Now you have this proportion. Next step would be to cross multiply. Now, when you cross multiply, you have to make sure you distribute properly. So you would get 10 times x plus 6 would equal 24 times x. Make sure you distribute your 10. It's really 10x plus 60 equals 24x. You would get then that 60 equals 14x. Divide by 14, divide by 14, x would be 30 over 7. That's great. We know x. Now let's answer the problem. The problem says find the length of AB. Well, in this case, AB is x, so even better, AB would equal 30 over 7. Okay, so proportions are actually pretty easy. Just make sure you plug in the correct values as you go. Moving on then, we have a definition of what a scale drawing is. So, a scale drawing is a drawing that is the same shape as the object it represents. The scale is the ratio that describes how the dimensions of the drawing are related to the, to the dimensions of the object. Now, a really good example of a scale is in a map, which is shown right here. It says one inch on a map is really 250 miles in real life. For the next one, it says one inch is really 20 miles in real life. So for example, if I measured maybe like this city to this city, and I find that it's three inches, well, three inches in the picture really is 60 miles in real life. Again, you wouldn't be able to see 60 miles on a piece of paper. That's why you have a scale. Using that, let's go to this next example. For example two, the scale in the drawing below is one inch to 2,800 inches. How tall is Eiffel Tower in inches? Well, to start off, this is the scale. One inch to 2,800 hundred inches. You can think of it that way. Okay, it's the scale. Now we can set up the proportion to solve this. Okay, now when we set up the proportion, it's important to be organized. I'm going to put the drawing on top. Then on the bottom is the real life size of it. So in, sorry, I'm going to erase that. Mm -hmm. So that's just labeling what I'm going to be using. So I have one inch over real life is 2,800. Now I have to use that to find the drawing. Well, the drawing here, if I go across, hmm, I say about 4.5 in the drawing, let's find out what that would be in real life. Put that over X. So the drawing is all on top and the real world, real world measurements are on the bottom. You need to keep that consistent. 
Then when you cross multiply, you get x to be 12,600 inches. So that is how tall the Eiffel Tower is in inches in real life. Obviously, the picture would not be able to be shown for 12,600 inches, so that's why we use a scale. Now, number three. You build a 3D scale model of the Reunion Tower in Dallas, Texas. The actual building is 560 feet tall. Your model is 10 inches tall. The diameter of the dome on your scale model is about 2.1. Please take a moment, pause, try this one out on your own. So hopefully you had enough time to give this one a try. First question is what's the scale used in the model? Well, you have 560 feet tall to 10 inches tall. Well, there's your scale. 10 inches compared to 560 feet. Now you always want to simplify your scale, so please simplify it and the final answer should be one inch to 56 feet. That is your scale. It takes one inch in real, sorry, one inch on the diagram is 56 feet in real life. So now it actually wants you to find the dome. Again, you have to be careful about where your labels are. The first one, let's have the model go on top and then we'll have the actual amount on the bottom. Okay, so we have our scale. One inch over 56 feet. Now it says the diameter of the dome in your scale model is 2.1, which makes it 2.1 in the numerator because the whole top is about the model. The unknown is on the bottom. Notice it's going to have a units of feet. The actual is units of feet. The model is inches. Same idea, cross multiply. When you do so, x would equal 117.6 feet. Keep in mind, a scale can have different units. As you can tell, it went here from inches to feet. As long as you're consistent about it, you will be fine. Moving on to example four. The perimeter of a rectangle is 132 inches. The ratio of the width to the length is five to six. Find the length of the rectangle. Well, let's draw it out. Here's my rectangle. The perimeter is 132 inches, and it says I'm at a ratio of five to six. Now, it does not mean that the width and length are five and six. It can't be. Otherwise, your perimeter would not equal 132. So get that idea out of your head. It means there's a common ratio. So really, there's a common value x that I took out to make this ratio. So really, the width and length are 5x and 6x. Well, in a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent. So look at that. Now I can make an equation with my perimeter. Well, perimeter equals all my sides added up, 5x plus 6x plus 5x plus 6x. My perimeter I know is 132, and that equals 22x divided by 22. So x would equal 6. Now the question asked me to find the length of the rectangle. Now I know the length has to be 6 the sixth ratio. Because length came second in my ratio, that makes it the second value in the ratio. So let's plug it in. The length is really six times x. Well, I know that x is six. So the length is really 36, put your units of inches. Okay, you will see these again and again, so please be aware of this ratio. Five to six does not mean 
the side length of 5 to a side length of 6. There's some kind of ratio in there. Okay, example 5, almost done. This time now we're talking about the area of a rectangle being 4,320 square inches. The ratio of the width to the length is 5 to 6. Find the length of the rectangle. Take a moment, try this one on your own. So if you did this one properly, your x should be 12, which then in the end makes your length to become 72 inches. So if you got this wrong, please go back and try to find your mistake. One of the mistakes could be you didn't do area. Maybe you found the perimeter. So please look back on this one and show the work and the corrections to get the correct length. Okay, last thing is the objective. Are you able to recognize similar ratios? Are you able to use proportions to find missing links? Try out this problem here. Again, it's as simple as plugging in. What is CA? What is CB? What is AE? What is BD? And now set up the proportion and solve. I'll check this one in in class tomorrow. Good luck.